Can Division Luton take on Division 1 high flyer Sunderland in the other quarter final tonight? And with the Hatters, including ex Sunderland striker Phil Gray in their side, they feel they have every chance of repeating the success of 10 years ago when they won the trophy. Mark Redson reports. Fitness shouldn't be a problem for Luton Town as they look to stretch their impressive cup run all the way to the Stadium of Light. Manager Lenny Lawrence can lead by example after joining Peter Reid on a recent Great North run and matching the Sunderland boss for stamina, if not speed. We ran the first six miles with him, but then uh, he accelerated away a little bit as he's entitled to with his younger years and I uh, finished about ten minutes behind him. So yeah, it was a great experience that day because there were so many people watching and that and cheering you on. It was a terrific experience. Sunderland have had plenty of terrific experiences themselves. Their 4-0 win at the weekend putting them five points clear at the top of the first division. But second division Luton still have all the ingredients for a cup upset. Captain Steve Davis is a Sunderland local hoping to break Wearside hearts. While striker Phil Gray with four goals in his last four games could complete a fairy tale by scoring against his old side. I mean it'll just mean going back to play in front of probably one of the best supporters I've ever played for and not a from the country, I mean, there's going to be like 40,000 Sunderland supporters there, and it's going to be excellent. But I've nothing to, I don't think I've anything to prove going back to Sunderland. I'm just going to try my best. I've never actually been to Stadium of Light, so uh, it'll be a nice experience. Um, but always follow the results, um, hoping they've won, and uh, more often than not, they've done that this season. So hopefully, tomorrow, though, it'll uh, all change. Luton's youthful midfield have also impressed recently with 21-year-old Sean Evers scoring for a nationwide England side against Italy last week. But there's still no doubt as to who are the underdogs. It was one of these nationwide representative get-togethers with the chairman's, the chairman's dog having, having to go at the ball now. Is, is he any good? <laughs> he's, uh, he's different anyway. He's not in this all happened so quickly for uh, all the young lads at the club because uh, we've come through the youth team together and uh, we've all played together but we've all been uh, thrown in at deep end and uh, told to get on with it sort of thing. But uh, I think they're coming quite well at the moment and hopefully uh, we can get a few more big games before we uh, end our career. The chairman's dog may not be joining Steve Davis on the pitch but with plenty of bite in the Luton Town team it could still be a hairy night for Peter Reid's men. Mike Ledsom, Sky Sports.